Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a video on making fonts in Roblox Studio. Um, the programs you will need are Blender and also Roblox Studio, obviously. And you will also need a place to download fonts as well. So let's get started. I am going to be making this font here, Sticky Toffee. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit download. Then you're going to click the link and download the font. And now it'll either be a .otf or a .ttf. So either one works. So once it downloads, you are going to exit all of these tabs and you're going to go into Blender. And you can delete this first block. Now what we have to do here is add in text. So you're going to go to create tab on the left, scroll down and then click text here. And I'll create a text box. To edit this text, what you're going to do is hit tab and then you can um, change and type whatever you want. So I'm going to type A. One thing that you cannot do is you cannot just type in A, B, E, C, D, F, G, you know, the whole alphabet in Blender because when you upload it into Roblox, it'll end up being just one big model and you won't be able to use each individual letter. You also have to make sure that the tris on the on Blender is not above 5,000 because otherwise it'll be too big to upload onto Roblox. On the right side, you'll see there are a bunch of tabs at the top. What you're going to do is hit the font tab so you can change what font you're using. Now, for the regular tab, for the regular portion here, I'm just going to go to File and I'm going to go to Downloads where I downloaded it and I'm going to find the um, font that I just downloaded. Now, in order to make it so that the mesh in Roblox is not completely like thin, you are going to go to Modification here in Geometry and you're going to extrude it about 50. It doesn't really matter how much you do this, um, but it does help to not do it too much because or else when you upload it in Roblox, it'll be super big. So I'm just going to do it to 38. It doesn't really have to be any specific number. And um, basically for each letter, you're going to do the same thing. So I'll show you a couple of them in a row. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to file, export, and export as an FBX file. And once you have this, I'm going to download it into my fonts. After I download this in here, I'm going to name it A at the top and then I'm going to hit export FBX and then you have the first one done. So I'm going to now type in B and do the same exact thing and change this letter to B at the top here. Now I do C. Export FBX. Now I'll do this, those three letters for now and I'll finish the font later. So what I'm going to do now is go into Roblox Studio and I'm going to insert a mesh part. And you can see that it turns out like a little um, checkered block. I'm going to select that and I'm going to click the file button on the right which will open up your folder and you're going to go to the spot where you downloaded the font. So I'm going to click, double click the A and when it says like do you want to move your mesh to the given location just say no and it'll upload right in the spot. As you can see it gets pretty big and now what I do is I just select and then copy and paste it a bunch of times so that I can get it nice and quick for the other ones. So now for the second one, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to file, I'm going to double click the B and hit no. And now you got the B there. So I'm going to finish this font really quick and show you guys what it looks like when it is finished.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them, do the toggle handles, and then I'm going to size it down. So there you have it. There is the finished product with my watermark and everything on it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to comment below what other videos you want to see.